So today we're going to have to go at making some mini flagpoles. Flags are traditionally used in scouting, mainly during opening and closing ceremonies. In order to make these, what you need is some scissors, but be careful with them and get adults help if needed. Some sellotape, your four wooden dowels, some string, paracord or twine or something you can tie with, and some paper. So for the purpose of this video, I will be using some paracord. So what you need to do is get the end of your string of paracord and one dowel and start off with a clove hitch. With the clove hitch done, we are now going to start with the lashings. So what you need to do is grab your other three small wooden dowels, place them next to the one with the clove hitch, and then just grab your end. And what you're going to do is go across them all, back round, and just wrap it round at least four or five times. You'll notice this type of lashing is similar to how you've done the tripod and shear lashings. Next part, what you have to do is bring your power cord or string, bring it down between the first and second dowel, then back up over all your strands, and then between the first and second dowel again, back down and do that at least twice. So once you've crossed over your lashings here twice, what you need to do is bring your string or paracord around the back of the second dowel here. I'm just going to go around the back and between the second and third dowel, I'm just going to do the same as we did before and just take it down and back up between the second and third dowel. And we'll do that twice. Once you've done that over twice, we're going to do exactly the same for the third and fourth dowel. So we're going to bring our string or power cord around the back of the third dowel and go down in between the third and fourth dowel. And then again, we're going to go between the third and fourth dowel, back up, and we're going to do that twice. Once you've got that done, on the fourth dowel here, we're just going to finish off with a clove hitch and snip the end. Yours should look similar to how this is. And for this step, what we're going to do is we're going to take the very last dowel and just pop it up like that. And the first three we have here we're just going to open out into a tripod stance for it to stand. It may take a little while and a bit of wiggling to get into the right shape, but just have patience and you can do it. And the next step is to make the actual flag. So to make the actual flag, we've got some paper, we've got some sellotape, and we've got some scissors but be very careful with scissors. So all you're going to do with your flag is cut it down into a small rectangular shape, which will fit on top of the flag pole. And you can decorate it however you like. And the last step for this is to sellotape your flag to your flag pole. So what I've done is just wrapped it round and I'm just gonna tape it at the bottom, top and along the edge here. And there you have your finished flag pole ready for the closing ceremony of camp. Well done.